Dear viewers, due to continuous rise in the number of COVID cases and the fears of a new wave, we are forced to switch the program to voiceover mode for a few days. As soon as the situation gets back to normal, we'll be back with the original format of the program. Thank you for your cooperation. Hello and welcome to the new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss all about the tussle between 5G and aviation industry. Very important, a little bit of overwhelming maybe you are if you do not have the proper background of this entire situation. But don't worry, we will try to clarify everything. These are the many segments that we are going to cover. Let's start with the news. Now, Air India on Thursday, that is today, it said that aerospace manufacturer Boeing had cleared the airline's B777 aircraft for flights to the US following the concerns that the 5G rollout there could interfere with critical aircraft functioning. That means it could have put the entire passengers of Boeing aircraft into danger, but it has now been cleared. And let's have a look on the background. So this is a tweet by Air India. Due to deployment of 5G communications in USA, our operations to USA from India stand curtailed, revised with change in aircraft type from January 19, 2022. This is the background. Not only Air India, but Emirates aircraft was also stopped from entering the US. What is the entire issue? Very confusing, right? What has 5G to do with aircraft industry? It's very interesting. So, for the background, I would like to tell you that the US auctioned mid range. 5G bandwidth to mobile phone companies in early 2021. The band range had the width of 3.7 to 3.98 gigahertz range and it was on the spectrum known as C band. Altimeters that are very important for the functioning of aircrafts, they operate very near to this range 4.2 to 4.4 gigahertz. And the concern is that the auction frequencies they are too close to the range. How our phones get in the airplane mode whenever we board a flight? It means that the radio waves that operate with our phones should not interfere with the altimeters of the aircraft which could result in accident. And the entire instrument in question is the altimeter. Now, Federal of Aviation Administration warned that 5G interference could lead to problems with the different systems of board Boeing 787 Dreamliner. This is another one. Boeing's aircrafts are very sensitive to altimeters and any changes in altimeters because it's a very key part of Boeing's aircraft altimeters. That is why it is important for these aircrafts to function properly. And because of the rollout that was supposedly to be from Wednesday, it got stopped. Plane manufacturers Boeing and Airbus, they have written in a joint letter to US Transportation Secretary warning that 5G could adversely affect the ability of aircraft to operate safely. Now, what is the entire issue here? AT&T and Verizon, they have agreed to restrict 5G near airports after airlines warned that potential interference from it could cause. Verizon and AT&T have argued that C-band 5G has been deployed in over 40 countries without aviation interference issues. But telecommunication experts have said that there is little or no risk to altimeters from 5G. But the aviation business is being accused that it had so many years to prepare for what little risk is there. They are still unprepared. How does 5G impact airlines about altimeters and their role? Now, if we talk about altimeters, it was first developed in the 1920s during the World War II, it played a very significant role. It still plays a very crucial role in planes, helping pilots to determine a jet's altitude and its distance from other objects. In some planes, altimeter readings are fed directly into automated systems that can act without input from pilots. This is the significance. As aviation experts have described, the 5G system used by AT&T and Verizon works in similar frequencies to the use, one used by altimeters. Now, if an altimeter's wave do not bounce back because of 5G interference or can't be distinguished from other nearby waves, the altimeter could give the wrong reading or not function at all. Any man-functioning altimeter could prompt a plane's computer to warn pilots about phantom objects which are not there. 
or prevent systems from warning the pilots of the real obstacles that are there. Honeywall has found that a range of errors have occurred from multimeters getting noisy, supposedly, to providing no reading when the company was testing the 5G interference with the aviation. Such errors played an important role in the two fatal accidents involving the Boeing 737 MAX that led regulators in 2019 to ground that plane for nearly two years. But is this problem specific to USA? 5G rollout has been happening in many countries. So the European Union in 2019 it set standards for mid-range 5G frequencies in 3.4 to 3.8 GHz range, a lower frequency than the service set to be rolled out in the United States. This is the difference. FAA officials have noted that the spectrum used by France sits further away from the spectrum used for altimeters there. In South Korea, the 5G mobile communication frequency is in the range of 3.4 to 3.7 GHz and there has been no report of interference with radio waves since the commercialization of 5G in April 2019. Japan has deployed 5G base stations up to 4100 MHz. No interference with aviation services in the country there as well. That means just a 100 MHz buffer zone is there. Now for India, is it also risky to roll out 5G? What about India's aviation industry? Several telecom companies such as Reliance, Jio, Airtel and Y are expecting the rollout of 5G services in 2022. We have lessons to learn. Now at this time, India's plans are unlikely to be affected because the band of radio waves Indian telecom operators will use are further from the American C-band. So there is a difference. Now it means that there will be larger buffer to avoid interferences. The more the gap, the larger the buffer, the less the accident risk. What is the way forward? Now, the airline industry has been working on new standards for radio altimeters that would address the 5G interferences and other issues. But upgrading altimeters could cost billions of dollars. Airlines do not want to bear that burden and neither do the wireless companies. A more immediate solution would be for US is to make permanent the temporary limits that ANT and Verizon have placed on their 5G networks near the airport. The companies could reduce the strength of the 5G signals near airports or redirect antennas in ways that limit or eliminate their impacts on planes. Verizon has said it will not use spectrum that is closer to the higher band for several years. They have agreed to buffer zones around 50 airports in US similar to those used in France for six months to reduce interference risk. Now, the advantage that telecom players in India will have is that much wider buffer gap between the highest range of commercial C-band for 5G and the lowest range of C-band that can be used by aviation equipment. The other categories which is low band 5G and MM wave networks don't at all interfere with the aviation frequencies and it is expected that India will likely open MM wave frequencies at a later time for 5G networks but not in the first phase of the rollout. Let's look at our question. What is altimeter? How is the technology at the core of a tussle between the aviation industry and 5G rollout in the US? In 250 words, we have to write this. So, that's it for today. Tomorrow, we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.